the fact that Ty Montgomery was a running back means a few things. One is that the Packers always had problems keeping running backs healthy. That's nobody's fault. It mm -hmm. always happened. That's why he wore number 88. He mm -hmm. still kept the number when it, they had to, they were out of options. They had to turn to him, uh, was that two, three years ago when they yep. ran out of yep. options and running back for Aaron Rodgers. But then they kept him there instead of just like, that's a stopgap for one year. And it just seems to me, why not get this guy, a guy who can go 20, 25 carries, 100 yards. I know Aaron Rodgers is terrific, but we just saw Sony Michelle, what that offense for New England looked like while he was healthy for Tom Brady. What is there just some philosophy in Green Bay that doesn't make that happen? What I happened? think when you are dealing with an Aaron Rodgers, a guy who is young, now he's he's starting to turn that corner. Mm -hmm. um, or on, approaching the corner. Approaching the corner. Yep. You put so much on him and his shoulders because he's been able to do it. You feel like we can kind of survive without it. We don't really need it. But understand this. The best friend of a quarterback, obviously the left tackle, but a running back. Yeah. Take the pressure off when you don't have to make that throw every single time you drop back. That is the life Aaron Rodgers has had to lead and live his entire career in Green Bay. Does he like it though? Deep down, do you think? Do you think he he would I, rather have if he had his druthers, he would rather have somebody behind him. I think he's getting to the room. point where he he wants a running back. He would rather have it early on. Yeah, he wanted that. Like put the ball in my hands every single snap, every single play. I can make it happen. And I think everybody got mesmerized by that and kind of lulled to sleep by the success that he was able to provide them to where you almost took that position for granted. And now he goes down. Your offense is abysmal because you don't even have a running game. You never, you had, you never established one because everything we did was based off of Aaron Rodgers, even running the ball, his ability to, to extend the plays and get outside the pocket and make guys miss and it, keep the chains moving because of his legs. It, it, he was everything. He is everything. He is. I know. Yeah. I know. So you're not you, – Aaron Jones is not going to be a guy that they're going to turn around and try and hand it to 15, 20 times. I mean, he does seem to me equipped to physically be able to handle something I like that. I definitely would. I, I love his explosion, his explosiveness, his speed, his burst. It's like a – it's almost like a bolt of energy when he gets the ball in his hands. It's you would think, and and they have gotten better. They have definitely gotten better with running the ball, um, and not bearing the shoulder, the burden of winning every single game mm -hmm. from first quarter to fourth on Aaron Rodgers by establishing a running game. And I think when you have a guy like Aaron Jones and even Williams, but Aaron Jones specifically, he's a game changer. But you have to give him the ball. I know. You have I, to give him opportunities. I would love to see that. I would love to see that. I'd love to see Aaron Rodgers not have to every single damn game try and th throw these back shoulder passes along the sidelines because he has no timeouts left to try and get. The, but he's tremendous at it. It's incredibly entertaining for a fan to see. It is. And that's why it was particularly galling to see Ty Montgomery take the ball out because, I mean, you got – you, I, I would have thought uh, uh, 999 times out of 1,000 that's going to lead to a Mason Crosby attempt. You know, obviously we saw in Detroit mm -hmm. last this year that it's not a guarantee. But I, I would just think that to keep more tread on the Rodgers tire, just get somebody to run the football for him. Yes, and, and going to the Ty Montgomery decision, like for me as a – and I thought it was not the right decision to bring it out. Selfish, whatever whatever has been going on, whatever has been said about it, I don't think it was the right decision. But I understand a player and being frustrated and not getting opportunities and having the ball approach you and now it's in your hand, I want to make a play. I mean, we've seen it with Odell Beckham this year going on as a punt returner because he, his frustration of not getting the ball from Eli. Look, I, I just want to get on the field, get the ball in my hand, and try to make something happen. That's what players do. That's what competitors do. But it ripped every – it was almost like it robbed us as fans, as viewers, mm -hmm. as, as, team, as teammates, players, the opportunity to see – what could have possibly been? 
Regardless if he takes them down there and they score. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.